the host nation, Simon Awol. The Olympic bronze medalists went down to the Olympic silver medalist in those quarterfinal stages. So what a prospect for today's finals. The Olympic gold medalist against the Asian Games gold medalist. Li Shui Rui, China. Against Wang Shixian. This is a repeat of the All England final. And of course, in Birmingham at the All England final, it was Wang Shixian, the number two seed, who prevailed over the Olympic champion. But the two players had met each other in the first of the Premier Super Series events for the year, the Malaysian Open. And on that occasion, it was Ali Shwere who had won. So this is the eighth meeting between these two fine women's singles players. Well, I've watched a match between these two players late last year. China Open final. And I thought it was one of the best matches I have ever witnessed. So, for the fans here in the Siri Fort Sports Complex, we should be in for a terrific women's singles final here today. So Wang Shuxian, the number two seed against the Olympic champion. There is the Olympic champion. That actually, the statistics, those are the statistics of the lady we're looking at, Wang Shuxian. She's the number two seed. And in fact, she's ranked number three in the world. I do apologize. Just a little technical hitch here. So, Wang Shuxian, just to confirm, is the number two seed. She's number three in the world ranking. Two years ago, she came here. She was the number one seed. She lost in the quarterfinal to Juliana Sheng. Her opponent, Ali Shwere. There she is, the Olympic gold medalist from London in 2012. She is the number one seed, the number one player in the world. And two years ago, she was champion here. She is the number one seed, as I say. And this, her third tournament of the year and her third final of the year. So, as far as the Olympic champion is concerned, well, against the qualifier yesterday, Liu Sin, her teammate, very convincing indeed. She had beaten the number five seed, Bei Yongju, the left-hander also in two straight games. The only time she went the full distance was against Jindapon of Thailand. That just over the hour mark. Well, in comparison, her opponents rode through to today's final. She's played four matches, and all four more matches have gone the full distance. When you add up the amount of time she's been on court, four hours, 34 minutes. She really has been pushed the whole way, including in the first round against the World Championship bronze medalist, home player, PV Sindhu. Now, 
if you look at Li Shue Rei, she's only been on court for two hours, 41 minutes. So looking at those statistics of Wang Shexian, well, if she's not tired for the start of this match, well, it'll be a miracle. As I say, this is the eighth meeting between the two players and it's the Olympic champion who has the advantage. But the last time they played was that All England final that I was telling you about. 21-19, 21-18, it was on that occasion. But prior to that last meeting, Li Shui Rei had won the four previous meetings. So she was on a real roll, was the Olympic champion. So, our court officials. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Qixian, China. And on my left, Li Zure, China. Li Zure to serve, love all, play. First blood to the Olympic champion. Oh. Olympic so, so. champion. What? Oh. 23 years of age. This lady, 24. She's from Shuzhou in the southeast Jiangsu province. Her opponent, Li Shuarei, from Chongqing in Sichuan province. Well, there have been some accusations levelled in the past about the commitment levels when players from the same nation play against each other. Let me just put you straight on something about these two players. I can assure you that there is no love lost between them because at the end of the Olympic qualifying period, the top four players in the world of badminton, as far as the women's singles discipline is concerned, we're all Chinese. To get three players into the London Olympic Games, all three players had to be in the top four in the world. Well, with China having four of the top four in the world, they had the choice. And Wang Shexian was ranked number three in the world, but didn't get selected. Her opponent, who was ranked then number four in the world, did get selected. Not only was she selected, she obviously went on to win the gold medal. And therefore, understandably, Wang Shexian wasn't terribly happy and ever since she's felt she's had a point to prove and every time that I've seen these two players play against each other since the end of the Olympic qualifying period there has been a real real intensity about the match and that has been very good to see as I say China Open finals probably one of the best matches I have ever witnessed
Oh, that's way in. What on earth was she thinking? Oh. Well, in badminton terms, that wasn't even close. Played from the world number two. wide uh, it's already obvious the tactical plan of both players as indeed the case in virtually all singles matches move your opponent to the back of the court then bring them forward keep moving them until they're out of position then you go for the winner Nearly enough. fast exchanges. I'm very surprised by that. Now, given the fact that Wang Shaxian has been on court for over four hours, 34 minutes, her opponent only two hours, 40 minutes. I would have thought, tactically, Nish Wei Rei would want to really try and work her opponent. It's good to see the Olympic champion playing without that huge strapping on her knee. What a good rally. Well, they said they might try and work each other. Oh, well, Xiao Xian looks almost out on her feet. What a rally. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, she'll need a few big gulps of air after that. Oh, she may have won the point, but I wonder how much that's taken out of her. both players taking quite some time Seven, six, before getting ready for the next point. Eight. Well, by the time Li Shui had won the Olympic gold medal, her st stats read that she had won 36 of her last 35 matches, going back to the Uber Cup qualifying. It was an extraordinary run. Yeah, that was a tired looking defensive shot to me. Just really got a racket in the way.
perfect tactics. Making Li Shuerei bend down to her forehand side, then steep angle to her backhand side. Nine, seven. Forced to play the backhand. Oh, she's overdone it. Well, she got her opponent in trouble. Whenever a singles player turns and plays the high backhand from deep in court, you know they're in trouble. She'd been forced back the full diagonal of the court, so she was out of position. She had missed her opportunity to finish off the rally. Oh, that's good. Absolutely magnificent. It's one of her trademark shots. left the racket that it was going to be a mistake. indicating to the umpire that she's taken a new racket and she wants to try it out. Level eight. No coaching staff involved, right. of course, because both players from the same nation. Jin Jin, the women's singles coach, former world champion himself, he'll be sitting in the crowd watching this. Out. Mm, good judgment. So, so. Run. Much more patient play from the Olympic champion. skill. Oh, 
Oh, there's going to be a challenge. Nishwa Ray has a challenge. Then we'll have Hawkeye. Look at that again. Final smash from Wang Shoshian. Mm. Well, Nishwa Ray was obviously convinced it was out. Oh, it's cool in. Right. Shot to me as well. Never really got behind the shuttle. One shot, she had. Yeah, she's taking that about head height rather than getting the racket arm up as high as possible. two players it actually looks like it's the Olympic champion who's breathing a little more heavily of the two but as far as shot making and movement is concerned to me the signs that Wang Xiaoxian is already struggling physically good net shot that's going to go wide yeah tight spinning net shot very very difficult to control Oh, my goodness me. Oh, that's disappointing. Just a gift to her opponent. Mm, you can tell she's not happy with herself. There's a real battle for supremacy at the front of the court. of course the Olympic gold medal but it wasn't just that 
nine finals in 2012, winning eight of them. No wonder she became world number one. straight points. And you see fractions slow back to her base position. It can be catastrophic. It's going oh. hard. Still, she can't get the shuttle over. Niche wear eight. Attempting to play a little net shot in handing the shuttle back, and she missed that. 18 all. Yes, lovely shot. Inside the back line. So two is that. Two misjudgments from Wang Shoshian, leaving the shuttle and it dropping in at the back of the court, and now too much. Game point opportunities. Oh. Mm. So Back level twenty or oh, that's why by a whisker. Oh, she's Challenging. No, it was called out. The umpire has said that it was called in. Well, it being called in. Oh, no, that was out. Challenge unsuccessful. No yeah. challenge remain. So, Anishwe Array doesn't have any of her challenges remaining. It's game point now. To Wang Shoshian. Unbelievable. On a run of four straight points, saves two game points. And closes out the opening game 22 20. Wang Shoshian, two challenges to make. 23 minutes of play. So one game up in the final here. Wang Shoshian. 22-20. From 18-20 down.
Well, for the last few tournaments, we've seen Alicia Ray with her knee heavily strapped. Good to see her without such strapping now. But she will not be pleased with the way she ended that opening game. game. She had two game point uh -oh. opportunities. Play. And a little flurry of mistakes. That was me giving it the build up about such intensity between oh. these two in the last few times that I've watched One. them play against oh. each other. That's gone long. Slow, slow. One, off. Oh, Wang Shoshian started her international career here at the Indian Open. Out. That was in 2009, when it was still a Grand Prix gold event. First ever tournament outside of China. do take a battering in badminton. She just guides the shuttle across court into the open space. Not trying to make it too tight. That's clever play. Ooh, that's one oh, I'm a little bit concerned. We oh. saw that Wang Xiaoxian was holding her knee just a couple of rallies ago in that last rally. Look, she just turns very early on to play the high backhand. And that's an indication maybe that she doesn't want to jumped to what we call the round the head position because that means landing on that Four, left knee three. Maybe she's a little bit cautious about doing that that is clear indication that her knee is bothering her little signal there means that she wants the shuttle changed. There is a drift in this arena. Both players should be aware of it by now. Goodness me, that's tremendous. Unbelievable. That is a fabulous rally. 
Well, the exchange at the net was just incredible. There was one net cord off the top of the tape. We saw at match point on quarterfinals day Hans Christian beating who's completely missing a shuttle. Well, perhaps there's more of a drift today than I realised. Well, you don't often see that. Yeah, nice angle set up with good movement. Shoshian waiting to receive in the wrong court. It is six all. She was in the left hand court. Thought it was an un odd number that her opponent had scored. Lovely, lovely skills from the Olympic champion. Well, Wang Shaxian, a last for the court to be mopped. Uh, both players, well, that was an all or nothing shot from the Olympic champion. Four straight points. Oh, I keep thinking the signs that Wang Shoshian is beginning to struggle physically. Yeah, there's another. Keeping her to the back, yeah, until the opportunity for the winning shot. Yeah, and things looking ominous for Wang Shaxian at the moment. Maybe a game up, but. get on with things. Well, that was six straight points and it has brought a different complexion on this second game. Into it. A four point advantage for the Olympic champion, Li Shui Rei. Oh, there's 
talking about her nine finals in 2012. Last year, 2013, six finals, winning three of them. 20 seconds. Been world 20 number seconds. one since December 2012. So well over a year uninterrupted. Uh, I've been seven, seven. talking about Wang Xiaoxian being tired. And that's a clear indication that the Olympic champion is also feeling the pace. No, it's going wide. Well, considering that Li Xuerei has won all of her well, not all of her previous matches, because in the second round, she's taken to three games by Jindapon of Thailand, but the last couple of matches, she's won very convincingly indeed, whereas her opponent has had such a battle to get through to today's final. Oh, I'd be surprised if it wasn't this lady, Wang Xiaoxian, who was feeling the pace a little more. Oh, what a return of serve. That is inch perfect. Just rolls her wrist. Just uh, send that shuttle straight. Good disguise. Mm. Well, she's not really got a special awareness at the back of the court, the Olympic champion. Oh, it was clearly in. Goodness me. in this match are really quite extraordinary. One moment I'm thinking Wang Xiaoxian is the one that's looking the more tired. The next moment I'm thinking it's the Olympic champion, Li Xuerei, who's looking the more tired. Oh, that's well taken. Very well taken. The font by Lee Schwerey. Mm, that was well taken. My goodness, indecision. Brilliant. Well, goes into the lead. Wang Shoshian. Four point deficit at the mid game interval. She's battled back. 
and now goes into the lead. is magnificent. Well, now we're seeing the sort of intensity that I was alluding to earlier on. The final smash. Yeah. Threw absolutely everything at that. Surprise! Both players taking the opportunity to tell down. Late. Fourteen or forty minutes. This match has been in progress. Shoshian is already number one on the destination Dubai list, the Super Series standings. Ling Shuerei is only three. And she has to win this final to go up one place. Number two on the Super Series list. Well, that won't be in the forefront of her mind at the moment. Yeah, but look at the reaction after the rally. The body language. That tells me she is struggling. Both tired. Almost a distant walking pace. Yeah, you could tell from the moment she played the high backhand that physically she was hurting. Look, wanders back to the base position. Yeah. Just long. No oh, big physical effort required. Well. I think if it goes the full distance, go to a decider, it really will just come down to fitness. Oh, she's pushed it long. Oh, 
it's called long. Well, that must have been desperately close, but Li Shui Rei has used up all of her challenges. Used them up in the opening game. Eighteen all. Perfect match on. Oh my goodness me. That's not possible, surely. Oh my goodness. What a rally. Well, on a run of three straight points. Well, she came from behind in the opening game. Did Wang Shoshian. And she's come from behind again to now go into the lead at this crucial stage. Two points away from the title. Oh, my goodness. Error on the net shot on a run of four straight points. Now two match point opportunities for the number two seed, Wang Shashian. Right. Oh my goodness, what sort of return of serve was that? <laughs> well, the tension, quite obvious. Now, well, we saw two game points saved in the opening game. Well, we're going to see two match points saved in the second. converted on a second match point opportunity Wang Shoshian has now won the All England Championships and the Indian Super Series events two One Super six, Series yeah. titles this 20, year 20, the Olympic 20, champion 20. there she is well she's felt it physically went for the angle across courts and the number two seed Wang Shoshian adds another Super Series title to her list of achievements. 11 Super Series titles now for Wang Shoshian. Her first here at the India events. Number one seed two years ago. This year she's the champion. 48 minutes, having saved two game points in that opening game, coming from 18-20 down on a run of four straight points to close it out, 22-20. 21-19, the second game. And Wang Shoshian, a worthy champion.
Well, two Chinese players that always produce a good encounter. The Olympic champion for a second consecutive time, having to settle for second best against Wang Shoshian. Liu Shui Rei, the number one seed. Third final in three tournaments this year. But for one, Xiaoxian, it's her fifth title tournament of the year. Her third final and second title. Thank you, sir. I now request Sri P. R. Bramath, Chairman and Managing Director of BNB, to present the bouquet and medal to the gold medalist. Thank you, sir. I now request Shri Tarun Chub, Managing Director of PNB, so, sorry, Shri Vikram Dhar, Country Head India Yonex, to present the mock check to the silver and the gold medalists. I now, thank you, sirs. I now request Sri Tarun Chuk, Managing Director of PNB Met Life again, to present this new piece to the silver and gold medalists. Thank you, sir. Now I request Sri Mahendru, Sports Head ONGC, to present the runners up trophy. Thank you, sir. Now I request Dr. Akhilesh Das Gupta, President Badminton Association of India and Vice President, Indian Olympic Association, to present the champion. Trophy. Thank you, sir. Now, may I request all the dignitaries to step forward for a good photograph? to the mixed doubles uh, final and we can see European involvement once more and it's in the form of Danes once more because it is the number three seeds Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen who will take on the number four seeds Ko Sun Kyung and Kim Hana. but looking at the draw from the quarter final stage two Danish pairs in quarter final as indeed were two Indonesian pairs, the Indonesian pair, the number two seeds, Tantori Akhmad and Liliana Natsia, they were the three-time defending champions. But as you can see, they lost in the semi-final in a repeat of last year's final. So the Koreans, uh, beaten finalists last year, will be trying to go one better this year. In the top half of the draw, the semi-final, the Olympic champions were beaten by the Olympic bronze medalists in three thrilling games. So it has set up a wonderful final. Incidentally, at semi-final stage, the top four seeds all through to that semi-final. So, seeding absolutely correct in the mixed doubles discipline. <laughs> 